Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Rangel from Image Ballroom Dance Academy. Today I'm going to be helping you with the Cruzado Walks in Samba. First thing first, let's start with our footwork. So it's a pretty simple footwork, similar to your rumble walks. We're going to be doing a walk forward with your right and a walk forward with your left. So we're going to have our compressed knee in the front absorbing the weight and we're going to be having that straight knee at the back. Let me show you the side angle. So we're going to be going right foot is going to go forward and then from here we're going to collect and left foot is going to be going forward. That was two Corsada walks. That was easy, right? So we were doing just forward walks in Samba, one after the other. Similar, as I said, to the rumble walks or the your cha-cha walks. Let's find out what is the timing. So I'm gonna start standing on my left leg and I'm gonna be going with the right one forward. We're gonna have the count. One, collect, under, take another step, two. If you count with slows, one weeks, in our case only with slows, we're gonna be counting. Slow, slow. So we can add in the middle when we collect, sometimes a little bit more advanced way of counting this timing. We can count slow and slow and. Let's see how this one is going to look like. So again, we're gonna go slow and slow and. Let me show you the back angle. So I'm gonna start again standing on the left leg. We're gonna collect and. We're gonna go slow and slow and. And that was the timing of your Cruzado walks in International Samba. Let's continue with our basic mechanics and execution. This is where I get excited because this is something that I always liked to work on. So the first thing we're gonna be discussing is remember that Samba bounce that we we were using in our previous episodes. So we're gonna be uh, applying the Samba Bounce, which was the flexing and straightening from your knees, ankles, and your hip flexors. If you don't know what Samba Bounce is, please refer to that episode that we did a few weeks ago. So we're gonna start, first thing first, is collecting our legs together and flexing our standing leg. This in my case is gonna be the left leg, so I'm gonna be flexing the leg, I'm gonna collect underneath my uh, body. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start straightening that standing leg and as I produce the next step. As I almost like am done of straightening my leg, I'm gonna start already relevant and taking off with my heel off the floor as I extend my foot for a step Forward. At some point, just for a split moment, you're going to find yourself in between your feet. From here, if you want to take a bigger step, you can drop your front heel down and you can slide it a little bit to take a bigger stance with your legs. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is your upper body. So, what do we do with our upper body? So, we took the step, we dropped the heel down, now we're going to be absorbing the weight into our front knee. As I absorb that weight, our legs are working in opposition. The front leg is absorbing the momentum, the, the back one is resisting backwards by opening that left hip, which produces a body action and a stretch. I also call it body reaction because this is the leg action, producing body reaction and stretching your right rib cage forward. Please try not to exaggerate too much leaning forward with your body and try to feel that you're standing right on top uh, of your right leg, not into the front part of the leg, that might be a little bit too far, so you might find that if you do it consecutive and you're too far forward, you might start feeling falling forward, but think about it staying in the middle of your foot. So I absorb my weight, I'm gonna pull my legs apart, I'm gonna be stretching my rib cage, and at the end, from here, I'm gonna do my pendulum action, where I'm gonna scoop a little bit underneath to collect my foot and repeat that process 
again another one i'm gonna be scooping and producing the next cruzado box so let's take a look how this cruzado box mechanics are going to look from the back so again i'm going to start standing on my left leg this time i'm going to pick up a frame so and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do the count and which count uh, has the purpose of collecting your feet together and also doing that handle of action so i'm going to go and uh, now i'm going to stretch i'm going to add this ah uh, which is going to help me from here to prepare for that next step so now i'm in a position in between my feet now from here i can drop my front heel and i can drive a little bit further forward just remember don't lean too far forward stay into the middle of your foot now your left hip and your left leg is turned out we have the right rib cage stretching forward now from here we're going to do our pendulum action where we close this hip we collect this is where we lengthen our lower back we have the core staying collected and now from here as I straighten my knee I'm going to start from here opening my center to produce space underneath my body for that step you can place your heel down and from here you can drive and extend a little bit further keep the left hip cage this time stretching forward and right before you're ready for the next step push the rest of the weight from the back foot to finish release and repeat the process that's the pendulum the straightening of the knee the taking of that releve the placement of the foot the placement of the heel down the drive the finishing and so on and so on repeating that process over and over again and last thing I'm gonna show you a few cruzado walks sideways in a little bit more continuous manner again we're gonna start standing on our left leg we're gonna do the pendulum action we're gonna start sending the foot we're gonna extend the foot forward one and two and three so one more time from side angle my right shoulder turned towards you we're gonna go from here and one and two and that is our cruzado walk basic mechanics all right guys thank you so much for joining us this was the cruzado walks the topic of today i hope that these tips were helpful please go and practice now and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much and see you in our next episode